got some pretty loud people in the background, but here's what the target aisle looks like today. We have finally the Hammond collection starting to hit targets, even though the next wave is already starting to hit Amazon and a few other places soon. But we have the JP3090 Free Classic line, which is pretty cool to see. We have Gallimimus and the Dilophosaurus ones. And we even have the Track and Explore vehicle set starting to hit stores, but they still need to clean out the Dominion items. It's looking pretty bad, but we have all the newer Gujitsu, and if people were wondering if this is the same blue, it really isn't. This one has Orbeez rather than just the normal goo that they used to have, but it's nice to see a lot of new stuff's hitting, but also if you guys want to do a repaint or just want another one in general, the Scorpius Rex is now, even though it doesn't look like it, it's on sale for $15 at all locations. That's the price that it's been marked down to. I'm actually... I'll go scan it and show you guys. Unless, maybe it might just be online. Hold on. Okay, it's online it's $15. $24.99 here. But still, if you guys want to come to your store and do price match or whatever, it's looking pretty nice so right, right now. now. As usual, the items are not on the floor that I want. Right now, they have the Hammond Collection Geostenbergia. Um, it's been about maybe five minutes now. They said, they said there's four on the back. I got that at the last location. Um, I checked the DPCI and yeah, I'm just waiting to see if they get it okay, out. Okay, at the second location, as you just saw, um, I was waiting to see if someone could get the Geostenberg out of the back. I always get two when I do um, get items out of the back, just to make sure the eye is printed on or painted correctly, because sometimes they aren't always. But on both of these, it seems to be pretty nice, but the wing paint is a little off on this one compared to this one, so I'll probably be getting this one. But overall, just the general aisle, so as the 30th anniversary sign up, um, I think three other, or actually no, two or three other target locations in my city have already discarded this display and for some reason in my city they will not give them out. Um, only one location does and that's like the smallest location so they don't always get them. But at that location, they actually get other figures much earlier than other stores, like by a week usually, which is crazy. But at this store, you can see there's lots of stuff being discounted. The human and dino packs were half off, um, another human dino pack. Um, the uncaged stuff, wave two, they actually put it on, wow, really a lot of clearance, like way over half off, um, $7.49 from $25. Um... Yeah, another one of those, like, I think they were called, like, Spin. I never collected them, but that's a good discount, too. Like, 66% off that one. And lots of discounts going on. This store doesn't seem to have um, much new stuff. But it would be nice to see them with a few different figures, like, keeping a discount on. They don't have to do that half off, with, with the, which they do every few weeks. They should just, like, keep a 25% discount on the Isla Sorna capture pack and the... Um, Legacy Collection Kitchen Encounter Pack, like these particular sets, instead of them like every once in a while paying them half off, they should just keep them at 25%. And this one's been here also for a long time. Um, I got one when they were half off, but they should just keep a little bit of sale because a lot of new sets are going to be coming out soon, which need to be filled in in these particular places. But overall, the store is a little bit empty. Hey Paco. How are you? <laughs> good, good. Um, he usually helps me get stuff out of the back. Very, really nice dude. Um, but yeah, overall, the store, I think it was pretty successful. Got the Geostenbergia. A little late for Target stores, but nice to see. Thank you guys for okay, watching. This is actually two days later. We're at a Walmart. Um, I'm looking for the Wave 2 Jurassic World Captives eggs. I only have the bottom half of Wave 1. All I'm seeing today is the big eggs. Um, quick tip if you guys are trying to get the Triceratops with these ones. It'll be a much heavier. Um, like this one's probably a Triceratops, but... Overall, I don't see any of the other eggs. This store says fully stocked, which um, they've obviously already all sold, or kids have misplaced them, but I don't even see the display, so I don't think they'll be here. But it is nice to see the Epic Attack figures being more readily stocked. We have the JP Free Male Velociraptor and the Dilophosaurus. Um, I was thinking about getting this one today. Um, it actually looks a lot better in person than I expected. The colors are really toned down, and it's nice and large. I know it's not accurate to the movie, but it's still cool. But I feel like that one's going to be definitely a shelf warmer, so I'm going to wait on it. But overall, um, Walmart stocked pretty well. Um, I also saw this Imagine Next um, 
Jurassic World. And I think this actually looks like a step up for Imagine Next. Um, it's pretty cool to see this. But overall, um, pretty not really a successful hunt here, but I always like to see the Walmart stores stocked. Um, see you guys later. This is the day after the last Walmart hunt. Um, pretty cool Funko Pop shirt for it looking like some pretty small kids, but it's pretty different. Haven't seen it yet, everyone. Um, I have the same target you guys have just heard of me at. Um, the aisle looks about the same. I don't see the Red Rex out or any of the other Hammond collection. They have Concaviator out, but this has hit many other places before. We still have um, some Raptors. Everything but the Red Rex is out. We have still the Track and Explore vehicle sets fully stocked. And um, all the other 93 classic ones, the Dr. Ian Malcolm with Lophosaurus and Dr. Ellen Grant with Gallimimus. But I did see this and I've been holding off on this for a while. It was on the clearance rack, so let's go see if it's on sale yet. $8.99, now that is a deal. Wow, well, this is um, the following day yet again. Actually, today is um, this is Saturday night, actually. Um, this is the Walmart aisle. It all looks pretty nice right now. Um, we have the Dominion Wave 2 Minis in stock, like someone tried opening one up. Um, and they had plush, a bunch of plush figures at one point. I see one 30th anniversary egg. I'm not going to take the chance with this because there's only a few left I need. But I do see one Dominion egg, and I'm thinking about grabbing this. I'm not 100% sure yet. But if you look up here, they have some of the Epic Attack stuff. It's too bad. Well, these are Epic Attack, but they do have... Epic Attack Carnotaurus, and I think the paint job on this is probably the best that Mattel's put out. I know the tail doesn't have anything, but it has toenail paint. Even though the bottom jaw is a different color, it's faded really well, and even that face paint job is much better than other um, figures like the Toro, but the Primal Attack one was good too. I just feel like maybe because I saw Toro in storage for so long, I just got bored of it. But yeah, it's pretty cool to see all this here. Um, still really well stocked even after the Dominion movie. See so you guys the next Walmart. Thing. You guys just saw me at. Um, I actually saw two interesting things. Sorry about that, but here is a Jurassic World scooter. Um, and I was very surprised to see this. This is like obviously this must have came out around Dino Escape, and they have it on discount. You save seven dollars. Um, not my cup of tea, but. Yeah, um, it's cool to see. And then I also saw this um, from the new, like, baby assortment for Jurassic World. Um, this, like, I don't know what you call it, quad. And I thought it was pretty cool because I'm used to just seeing the blue and then the green raptor quad. And I love this new packaging style. It's actually really cool. It's too bad they don't more widely release this to get more younger fans into the Jurassic World items. But, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, thank you guys for watching this might see me in another segment hey guys something else i noticed is they're starting to stock these big imagine x figures um quite regularly got the pyro raptor velociraptor and i don't know what this is supposed to be if it's supposed to be the giga um giga yeah it is it looks a lot like a spinosaurus to me and then we have a bunch of other jurassic world stuff they're gonna have to start putting more of this on clearance soon because they have a lot of it but I still yeah, really do pretty think cool. they have overstocked the dominion figures there's just so many um, the packaging is so dark to me and unappealing for like just general kids that want to buy this. I feel like that's a part of the reason that they're just so sludged up on the shelves and they even up the price. They're originally $44.95 and they say everyday low price, but yeah, Hello, crazy everyone. to see this. Um, it's been about, I think, six days since the last hunt. Now it's the 28th. Here is one of the locations. Um, I've been in this one a few times for hunts. But so far, I don't see anything new. Well, I mean, they have a lot of Geostenbergias, which is nice to see finally. A few Concavenators. Always, um, they have a lot of the 93 Classic stuff. As much as I love the 93 Classic line, I'm almost regretting buying it so soon. Because just like this Legacy Collection set, I'm going to wait until it goes at least half on sale before I grab it. Because they always do. And I feel like, I, just, I don't know why, but I just don't feel like they're selling that well. And I'm very surprised because with this brighter packaging style, I thought that they were going to sell a lot quicker. But I think they're, at least in my personal area, they're just sitting on the shelves. Like, I think I'm the only one that's bought that many. Maybe like two or three have sold. And it's been like, I think maybe a week or week and a half since I've been to this location. But one good thing is, is um, I haven't seen these yet. There's the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary walkie-talkies. I'm not going to get them, but it's cool to see. And I love this 
um, design they have on the back of Parasololophus and other various species. But yeah, overall, um, looking pretty decent. There's a few sales going on right now. Um, the Sarah Harding set is on sale for $27.99, which don't buy it right now. They're still fully stocked mostly everywhere, and you'll be able to get it for $20. Um, the Dominion ones, I'm surprised these are still $13.99 because a few months ago they were having them on sale for $10, and I thought they were going to go down to $5, but they never did because I think they got like another shipment and they weren't expecting it. And same with the Kitchen Encounter Pack, that one's on sale if you guys want to grab it. This one I feel like will um, stop selling and sell out a little quicker than the Dominion one just because there's so much Dominion stuff. And one thing I do like about the Dominion items for Target is all the exclusive ones. They had this exclusive like packaging design that was brighter. And as I said in like my previous hunt at Walmart, all the Dominion figures just has so much darker or like, I don't mean this like rude, but like unappealing packaging. Like, okay, let's give you a quick example here. Um, is there anything too like new? Um, they don't have much Dino Tracker stuff, but like, okay. How about this, for example, compared to the Fresh and Devour T-Rex? It's just so much brighter, like the yellowing, yellow colors, like, and then there's obviously the different biomes for the different kind of dinosaurs, and I just feel like it looks so much brighter, and like it pops, and like, I feel like the Dominion items just make the aisle look dark, and I know that's the whole point, it's supposed to look like the helicopter chase with the T-Rex, but they need another, like, pattern for wave two to four of the Dominion figures. But yeah, overall, um, not a successful hunt, but it looks pretty well stocked, which I do like. Thanks for watching. Okay, See you everyone, next time. this isn't going to be a first for me because I already saw it. I wasn't filming a hunt, but I'm at another Walmart location. And I'm seeing all these figures, pretty well stocked and all that. And then I spot up here a full case of the Wave 2 Jurassic World Dominion eggs. It's partially turned over, so I'm nervous that I'm going to get duplicates. But let's go, that's amazing. <sighs> yes. I am definitely going to get some of these. Hopefully I can get that rare raptor. Because I think I'm only missing the Geostenbergia, the Compi, and the raptor. I could be wrong. Oh, let's see what I get. So I opened up all the eggs. As usual, they make quite a mess. Um, I did get a duplicate because obviously, as you can see in the video, the eggs were all turned over. So this one was definitely from the bottom of the box. Or at least I think it is. Because I know this wave was actually a little bit harder to figure out where which ones are on top. And which ones are on bottom but yeah i got the stegosaurus and this one is also a duplicate um but this is one that there's only one per box of the um ankylosaurus where the stegosaurus there is two per full display case but i did get one that wasn't duplicate and i was very surprised to see this this was actually in the last egg i opened um I got the Amber Baby Velociraptor, and this one actually looks really nice. This is the exclusive, and it's technically just as rare as the Ankylosaurus, Geostenbergia, and the, um, I think the Compute is actually two of. I'm not sure which other one it's equally as rare to. I'm gonna actually take a look at the back of the box real quick and see, because I'll remember pretty quickly. Um, on the back of the box, yeah, this one's just as rare as the Pachycephalosaurus, because in these boxes, there's two Carifosaurus, two Spinosaurus, two Stegosaurus, and then there's one of each of the other ones. I think that's right. Yeah, but pretty cool. You definitely got at least a nice one. So right now, I'm heading into Best Buy, and supposedly they got the new Jurassic World Sound Surge figures in. Actually, not new, but they're not usually readily available in the U.S. I think they are in Mexico and maybe the U.K. I'm not 100% sure on that. But let's see if they got them. Oh, I do see some. Um, they have two of the new ones. They have the Indominus and the Giga, but they're both in the um, Dino Trackers packaging. I'm very surprised by that. Here's the Giga. Um, it's obviously probably just the same one as the Dominion. But they also have the Indominus. Um, I don't know, maybe I should get the Indominus. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, looks really nice, though. Wow. Oh, I should probably should be showing you. Here it is. Um, pretty cool packaging art on this, too. And what environment are they saying this one's supposed to be in? Maybe it doesn't say because it's, uh, I guess it looks kind of like forest. But yeah, pretty cool. If you guys want to get um, some of the Sound Surge figures, head over to your Best Buy. Um, Basically everything else, they just have the um, 
basic other ones. I don't see Wave 2 here yet. They have the Hammond Collection T-Rex. I heard that they were going to be getting these here, but this, these have been out for a long time. Hello, but, everyone. Yeah. Um, actually, about two hours ago, I decided not to get the Sound Surge um, Giga or Indominus, but I'm hoping that they still have them because I'm really deciding I think I should get the Indominus. I don't have any other Sound Surge figures, and this one, personally to me, is one of the cooler ones. I'm not even sure. Yeah, this was here earlier, but yeah, it is pretty cool to see these. I think I'm going to grab the Indominus. It's, it looks pretty nice. The Giga paint job's okay, but you don't need much color on the Indominus, but earlier I didn't do too thorough of what they had here. Looks like we have um, Stomp and Escape Tyrannosaurus Rex. I think this one's on sale right now for $25 if you guys have that at your local Best Buy and want to do a repaint or something. But yeah, <laughs> look at this T-Rex packaging, man. They really messed that up. But it is awesome to see the Hammond collection moving over to Best Buy. It feels like they stock them right as they get them to the stores too, because I'm pretty sure just yesterday these started hitting stores and just instant they have them. They don't leave them in the back like Target does. So yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna grab the Indominus and go. I mean, the paint job's not amazing, but it's a cool size. And I think this is like maybe 140th scale maybe. So it could go along like, um, good as like a juvenile Indominus. Um, even though it was already juvenile in the movie. Well, not, not juvenile, but like pre-adult. But yeah, Hello, pretty cool. Um, I'm at the same Walmart that I was at earlier. Um, actually put some eggs aside because this was like a full case. So it's guaranteed that there's at least the Geostenbergi and the Compi. I'm really surprised I haven't got the Compi yet because that one, there's two per collector's case. Excuse me. Um, I don't remember exactly where I put my feet back here. Yeah, here they are. I'm gonna grab three of these eggs. So actually all the stores in my city at the same time, like within two days, got them as, as in stock online. And I visited this store actually twice. Um, since that happened, I never saw any, not even like the, the case empty. So the whole time they've just been sitting up here or they've been in the back. So I'm surprised I haven't seen it before up there, but I probably just missed it. So yeah, I'm gonna get three more eggs and hope I get more. So I grabbed eggs. the Sound Surge Giga. Um, looks, looks pretty nice. And I bought three more eggs. And in the first egg, I got Pachycephalosaurus, which is a duplicate for me. But this is one like the Compi, the Carifasaurus, and I forgot what the other one was. Um, I don't remember, but there's two per display case of 12. Um, but this one is only one per display case. This one actually is slightly rare. But the only other two I was missing was the Geostenbergi and the Compi. And I did manage to get a Compi, even though there's two of this per box, it's still amazing to get. And the paint job, it's not super movie accurate, but it's still a really good paint job. Looks really nice. And the Geostenbergi is probably one of the hardest ones to get, just like the um, Amber Raptor, which was only one per display case. But somehow I did manage to get the Geostenbergi, which is probably because I tried to get mostly the top of the box, but the... Um, and Kylosaurus I got, and the um, Pachycephalosaurus were both from the bottom of the box, which makes no sense. But yeah, awesome. I got the rest I need. Maybe I'll show in the next video um, my collection of the captives. The only one I'm missing is the Parasololophus from Wave 1, which is because the top of the box of Wave 1 I never can seem to find. So it cools right now, actually. And the only one I haven't been able to find at Best Buy was the Herrerasaurus. I noticed they had it here along with a few of the Imaginext Jurassic World minis. Um, and I was very surprised to see the red Ankylosaurus. I feel like this one's rare. I never saw it at Walmart. Neither did I buy any of these at Walmart. But um, yeah, they're only $4.99. I might grab a few. Um, I don't know how much the Herrerasaurus is. I didn't even realize they had prices on them. That's why I'm at a price scanner. But um, yeah, $11.99, that's not bad. I think that's about the same price as Best Buy. I know it's not like really the general retail price, like if you found a Walmart or Target, but I don't think Walmart or Target is stocking the um, Strike Attack assortment. I think they just moved to the attack packs and I don't even see those very often anymore for the newer figures, but yeah, pretty cool. I love the glass or plastic clear eyes on these. The only other Imagine Next I have um, from these is the Bumpy and Ben and then the Allosaurus. Yeah, I might grab some of these. I'll let you guys know soon. World section, if you guys are wondering. Here it is. It's not very big. They have some of the new These in various stuff. spots of Kohl's. Um, I don't usually cover these items, but it is pretty cool to see the Therizinosaurus 
and the um, Pyroraptor Maginex. I'm not sure if he carries it target or not. I think I'm gonna have to start looking in that section when I hunt. But pretty cool. This blue, I'm pretty sure the pre-orders on Entertainment Earth just, um, I think got shipped for this. I'm not 100% sure on that. Might still be a pre-order, but I don't remember seeing this one anywhere else. So maybe it's new, maybe it's not. Um, this is May 1st. I'm at one of the target locations. I think after this video for future hunts, I'm gonna have them as location one, two, three, and four, um, because there's only four in my city. So make it easier if you guys know where I'm at. But um, I was gonna get some repaint stuff for Hammond Collection, but I don't see the Packy and um, Velociraptor right now on sale well they're obviously on sale but i don't see them here they have the geo and the concave nader but i'm just not sure if i want to pay that right now for them i feel like they might go on to higher discount in the future and actually the farthest location from where i live in my city is the one that has the velociraptor and packy i'm considering going over there but it's gonna be a lot of gas to go over there but right here in this aisle yeah, it's pretty well stocked as usual. Um, I love to see the JP30 stuff. They are starting to sell at this location. I think there was only one track and explore vehicle set here. I don't know where it was, but I saw it earlier. But yeah, it looks pretty nice. Um, actually, you're gonna check the Imagine Next section to show you guys what they have there. Hold on just a second. Um, what aisle would that be on even here? I'm not familiar with going to that section, but I thought I'd start doing it. Um, right here we are. So, at this location, we have maybe a mercenary with two comps like an aphis, it looks like. I'm not sure if they actually have the dinosaur species on the back, I think, yeah. And they have the large um, pyroraptor, and then they have large T Rex. I think the pyroraptor is newer. Um, what else do they have? Anything behind here? That's something else, but they do have the Dominion Alan Grant Stegosaurus, and then the Owen Grady the Therizinosaurus. They have the Pyroraptor. Um, what else do they have? Uh, the Trociraptor, let's see if we look at from this side, and Dimetrodon. I think that's about it. They have the Indominus, which they've had forever. They have the T Rex back here, and then they have this set, which is pretty cool because of uh, Allosaurus, Dilophosaurus. Nothing's really on scale in this set, but yeah, pretty cool. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a nice next few days. This is my Bye. next video, guys. But I actually have them all numbered now. Target. So I'm gonna call this target location one. Um, at this location, um, what I was looking for because the Jurassic World Hammond Collection Pachycephalosaurus and Velociraptor went on sale at 10:49. I did not see any here today. Um, yeah, they I think they'd be right around here. But yeah, I didn't see any. Um, the store's out. All my so actually like less than a week ago they were fully stocked here and all the other stores in my town and they sold out the day before they put them on sale which really kind of sucked but overall there's a lot of deals going on right now um save six dollars on the legacy collection free pack so kitchen counter um the dreadnoughtus is on pretty big sale too um what else do we got on sale um fresh and devour tyrannosaurus that's a pretty good deal i've seen it cheaper but still pretty good um Legacy collection set. That's a little sp expensive to me for this. I've seen it for 20 But this one, this is the first time I've seen the Risky Rescue pack on sale. I, I may pick this one up. Probably not still. I'll probably wait till it goes to um, 17 49 or but still that's cool the Risky Rescue pack. If you guys still haven't grabbed that and you want to be even waiting for a sale, now's the time. Um, but yeah, a lot of stuff's on sale. What's down here? Legacy collection T-Rex bundle. Um, which one is that? Oh, that I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that one's on sale. That one's not a big sale, though. Um, the Giga is on sale. Not really, though. 59 But, yeah. They have some Hammond Collection T-Rexes in stock, which is cool to see. I may grab another one of these for a repaint. I just did the Styrek Tech um, head replacement. I'm not fully done. For some reason, it's not going on, right? I got it off. I found the pegs, but that's for another video. Uh, I'm actually going to check real quick the clearance racks and see if they have put any of those figures on the clearance racks. Um, I don't see any. I know this isn't necessarily a clearance rack, but yeah. I don't even see Ian Malcolm, or any of, not Ian Malcolm, um, Robert Muldoon, but I think that's the last clearance rack, unless there's some in the front area. I will check there. And I also will show you guys the Imagine X section in a second, but yeah, I don't think there's gonna be any on the front. But before I'm done, I'll show you two sections. I'll show you. Oh, avoid. 
faces. Yeah, I don't think there's any in the Magix. I mean, not Magix, Funko. I know I'm going in all directions, but I don't want to give you those faces on camera. No. I, know I technically could just put my camera down, but let's see. Imagine next section will be right over here. For this looks um interesting. There's not a ton, but better than some sometimes that we have. Got Ferrosinosaurus, Drosoraptor, Pyroraptor, um, helicopter, Stegosaurus with Grant, um, the big Pyroraptor, the set I've shown you in previous videos. Um, this truck, I think I saw it, but didn't mention it last time it's on sale. It was on the sale on Amazon for 20 a few days ago. But yeah, overall, this is pretty well stocked, too. There's a lot of stuff to get, but yeah, um, kind of a failed hunt, but still pretty cool they have this much stock. See you guys later. I mentioned to you guys that I'd be labeling each target location, but I had a track meet, and this target supposedly has um, what I'm looking for, but this meet was out of town. So let's hope that they have the Hammond Collection Velociraptor. They said they had, it says online they have three Velociraptor and one Pachycephalosaurus. Even though the Pachycephalosaurus is still on pre-order, you can check in the top left corner of your screen if they really have it. If not, it'll still say pre-order. Um, let's check. Oh, nice. They have every, no, maybe not. Let's see. They have this, which I'm definitely picking up. And they have... Okay, they have all the Velociraptors I was looking for. I'll grab these. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Yes, yeah, so I'll grab one more of these, but I've not seen the um, Pachycephalosaurus. But there's no reason not to check these. There could be a rare one back there. No, that's wave one. Um, but I don't see... The packy. I think I'll ask if they have it in the back, but yeah, a little bit more guys. dormant of an area. So far, I've found I've bought in two of these. I was gonna buy more, but um, once they went on, so I bought okay, so I bought one at Best Buy when I drove out of town for that actually because I didn't know if Target was ever really gonna get these. And then, like a week later, they got them, or maybe two weeks later, they got them at my local Target, Target location one. And they had them for a few days, and then the day that they went on sale, I couldn't make it until the next day, and they sold all of them. They had four, I'm pretty sure. But, um, so right now I have two on display. I think I'm going to get all three of these, because I think I'm going to want one to repaint and, like, maybe get Styrectex kit for. One more to put on display, and then one to keep sealed. Because I just don't know how common these are going to be, because the dinosaurs tend to sell out a lot quicker than the humans. Heard some people say the dinosaurs never go on sale, sale like the clearance, because this is just a discount, but I think they do sometimes. <laughs> I've seen like the Gallimimus for $6.49, and now the Gallimimus, I think it goes for like 60 bucks on eBay now, which is actually crazy, because all the other Hammond dinos only go for like 25 30 but yeah, I think I'm going to grab all these. Um, thanks, you guys, for watching. I'm, another location, um, the girl checked on her zebra, says that they have four of the Pachycephalosaurus. I was not able to find that here, and I'd like to grab some of those, so I might head to that location, but you guys will see soon. See you <laughs> the next target of my mom. There it is. We're approaching it. On to the next target. I didn't mention this in the last segment as I go through the wrong door, but... Um, I, oh, this is a two, wow, two-story target. That's interesting. But I did not go to, I'm not sure if I went to the right one, actually, because uh, because there is actually four in the city that they told me. Not I'm telling you guys what city, but yeah, they said that there was, um, I hope I'm on the right floor. I don't even know if I'm on the right floor here. I see baby stuff, so I'm guessing the toys about that I wonder what's on the bottom floor because this target actually seems like full size to me I might have to check that out later probably not on camera but still interesting yeah this is definitely the department so supposedly they have four package of sources at this target but I'm not 100% sure so this should be the aisle right here maybe um Maybe not. Let's see. Um, here we are. What do they have? 
Um, I don't see what I'm looking for, sadly. I don't see the Bagasylvosaurus. I see Geostenbergia, um, Velociraptor, but I'm probably going to have to ask them if they have it in the back. I'll let you guys okay, know. Guys, I had someone check, um, right now. She's checking the back. It says that they're not on the floor or in the back. Actually, it says the on hand thing. There's actually free options on Target. I think I've mentioned that before to you guys, so it could be really anywhere. I'm gonna take a look behind a few things. I don't see anything. Um, I think this is one of the very few targets that hasn't scrapped the 30th anniversary display yet. But yeah, we'll see. I don't see have my tripod with me right now, but luckily they just weren't taken out of the back. So I was able to grab two. They had four, but I think two is enough. Um, I feel like I may see another one of these in my city that would have sealed box, but yeah, 30% off both of these. So how much am I gonna get? $9 off. So, how much am I going to get these for? $21 for them together, plus tax or whatever. That's still a better deal when they're sold out on Amazon. you got to be really lucky to find them at Best Buy. I have no idea where I'm going in this store right now, but yeah. Um, two bags of Cephalosaurus. I may repaint one, um, but I do need another one for my display because I only have one on display, so I may not repaint any of them, but yeah, really cool. See you guys in the next hunt. Let's hope I can find some eggs. Both locations. Sadly, as usual, even though this five below location was out of town, I do not see the Jurassic World captives eggs on any level of this aisle. But there is a big lots next door, so let's hope for the best. Very cramped aisle, but at big lots, do not see the captives eggs. This is starting to get really annoying, actually. But the craziest thing I never thought I'd see: Jurassic World basic figure at Montosaurus. Like what? How? What are the chances of me finding this here? I'm not sure if I'm gonna pick it up, but still, like, that's really cool to see in person. The paint job's decent, too. Um, yeah. Okay, guys, I think it's um, May 8th or 9th, I don't know, but um, they have a lot of Jurassic still stacked up here. That's definitely not the Jurassic aisle. This is. Let's see what they have. Okay. Interesting. What do they have? We got some. Um, that was not one. No one I knew did that. Um, okay, that was weird. Was, oh, <laughs> that's my mom. That's cool though. Pretty cool. A licensed Jurassic World plush. Um, let's see. They have a large captive's egg. Um, let's see. <laughs> what else do they have? A bunch of extreme damage. They don't have any of the epic attack. Oh, they do. Here is the Epic Attack Carnotaurus down here. As I said before, really like the paint scheme. And behind me, they have a bunch more Jurassic World stuff. They're over. They're definitely overstocked right now. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if they have a dedicated Imagine X section here. I can check. Give me a second here. I don't know where it would be exactly. I don't think so. I did see on someone's Instagram that they have Zoom Riders here from the Jurassic World line. I mean, I see this Jurassic World stuff right here, but I don't know where the captive stuff would be, but this is cool. I haven't seen this for a while. Oh, they have the Pyroraptor one too. This one's hard to find. That's cool to see. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, I just have the Pyroraptor, but I'm not sure. Yeah, they have some more Jurassic World vehicles. Four by four. It's cool to see. And I see a Giga Plush just sitting right here. And I'm now just realizing that all this music's probably copyrighted, so I'm probably gonna have to do a voiceover. But, um, I don't know where the Imagine X section would be. Maybe they don't have it. I know they had saw a few Jurassic World Imagine X, but it doesn't really mean anything. I'm probably just missing it though. Yeah, but cool. See you guys in the next hunt. After all that, I did find the Imagine X section. It was the one aisle I didn't check on video. Typical. Um, we got Dr. Ellen Grant, Stegosaurus, basically about all the same stuff that they have at Target. Um, but I've seen this T-Rex cool up on display. I don't even see, oh here it is, yeah, there's the, one of the larger Imagine Next sets right here. They have the big Giga, um, not seen any of the minis, sadly. I like the mini ones, so, um, except they have pretty cool designs, but yeah. Nice Jurassic nice. World kite, I saw that around. the Funko section, we have some more copyrighted music, so I'm gonna be voiceovering this, but Look at this, they have the Funko Jurassic Park T-Rex backpack. I'm guessing this is probably like 30 bucks. Pretty cool to see, T-Rex and Dilophosaurus, so yeah, 30 bucks. Um, let's see, where's the rest of the Funko stuff here? 
do not know. I always get confused with the store because they have a smaller section. Oh, they moved it. They definitely moved it. It was not here before. Um, okay, I'm not seeing any Jurassic. I am seeing soda, but I don't see Jeff Goldblum soda up here or Ian Malcolm. Yeah, there's, I don't think they have that here, but still looks pretty cool. I don't think there's any Grants or T-Rex, but yeah, whole video. I'm just now realizing I did miss something. They have a Funko T-Rex pen, which is pretty cool. Have it nice wrapped. Not sure how much, maybe like 10 or 15 bucks, but pretty cool. Hello everyone, I hope I don't get copyright strike for this music. Um, I'm in like a pizza place right now, but I wanted to talk to you about a few Hammond collection items. Um, right now I'm just talking about the Velociraptors. Um, here's the normal one, uh, or GP free male. And here's the JP3 female. Um, I've found this one at Target. I actually drove out of town once to get one at Best Buy. Um, I think the paint job on this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do less um, like thorough reviews, I think, these days. So I think the paint job, it's pretty good. It's definitely nothing like the um, Amber collection, but I think they already knew the fate of the Amber collection, so they just wanted to do one really good banger at the end. But yeah, um, the paint job's decent. To me, both of these wrappers, I know they're not perfect. I know the feet are terrible. Even this is really bad. But they, they're they just, to me, so much better than the original Hammond Collection Gloss Raptor we got. I feel like the paint's um, job on it, like, like the paint, the, the other coat of brown, not sure if it was on top of the body or not, because I repainted mine, but it was like, it didn't even, like, you couldn't even tell there's another color of paint on it. Where this one, you can really at least see the colors, like, and they have different variation throughout, which is um, very nice. But yeah, I definitely do like this one a lot more. And this extra joint in the neck that they fixed, so it's not like the Amber Collection one. So it doesn't really matter on a smaller figure because you're not gonna be able to tell that it has this big um, ball joint, like where if it was on the Amber Collection, it would look like a big eyesore. But on this, it looks perfectly fine to me. Um, and I really think that this articulation helps the figure out a lot. The only thing um, that I'm like, because this is, this is an adult, adult collector's line, but it really isn't. So the only thing that I really am not a fan of on these Raptors is, I'm not sure if it's on the male, but in the JP Free movie, the female had like yellow toenails. I'm not even sure if that would look good on this particular figure. Um, because all the other ones don't have that but maybe if they would have done like a dark tan for the nails it still would have looked a lot better than this black it just looks so because it's shiny too it's so vibrant it just doesn't fit the figure very well but yeah overall i think this one's pretty decent this one was really hard for me to get because i think in november they had it up for pre-order and after that they didn't get it in stock until a few months ago and the first time they got it in stock um, it was a really bad time. I wasn't able to get, get it then. And then the next two times they got it in stock, it was like a six or seven in the morning. I was not up yet for it to, to get it. Um, but this time I think they got it in stock and they kept it in stock. So I got it for $30 and um, I have Prime, but it got here in one day, which was actually crazy. Um, I ordered it, uh, what day did I order it? I ordered it Monday and it's here Tuesday. And I ordered it like midday yesterday, um, which was actually crazy. I know this won't be yesterday when I'm uploading it, but I was very impressed because usually it takes two or three days for Prime stuff to arrive. But it did say it was in a nearby warehouse, which I still was very surprised about. But yeah, um, what's interesting too is, is now that like big retailers can actually scalp without it being like an actual scalper. Like on Amazon, if you see all buying options, like click that where it says see all buying options, those are going to mostly be scalpers. But Amazon themselves now, they actually still have this set in stock. The longest time they've ever had it in stock. Usually it sells, sells out in like 45 minutes or less. But they actually have it right now for $45.99 on Amazon. And it's not a scalper. It's not to see all buying options. So Amazon's actually trying to charge that for this figure. It actually reminds me of the time that they got the How to Train Your Dragon um, Dragons Revealed Nightlights. I never ended up getting those, but originally they started at $30 for the price, which was still above retail. It was, I think retail was either $14.99 or $17.99. And they never um, lowered the price to the retail and they actually upped it again. It was like, I think at one point it was $60. And now right now it's like 45 because they're not gonna sell it at that price. They're gonna sell to a few um, 
really big collectors. But yeah, um, I think they look pretty good together. Ever since the original images I saw of this, I knew, I don't know why my camera is not focusing today, but right here that this would look a little better in person. And yeah, if you look really close, it does look decent, the eye paint, but it's still printed on, which I don't like, but it's still pretty decent. The underbelly paint is a little bit more faded like I would have wanted, but it still looks pretty decent. I know there's no paint to the end of the tail, but they got the, they nailed the whitish gray color really well to me. And I really like the speckling and the plastic. Usually it's like unnoticeable, but since it's white here, it actually gives it a much more natural look. I do think they look pretty good together. Um, I think that's gonna be it. That's all I'm gonna talk about. So thank you guys for watching. Um, see you in either the next segment, or this might be the end of the video. I'm not now. sure. See you later. <laughs> There's my mom. Uh, we're approaching the aisle. Let's see. Okay, here we are guys. Let's see what they have. I'm not seeing any captives. It's been a while since they got in here, but I almost bought the whole case last time. But I did put them back here. Yeah, someone definitely snatched them up. I was kind of hoping to still see some, but it looks unlikely. Um, I don't see too much new stuff. Oh, yes, that could have gone bad quick. But I better always check on top, because last time I had captives up there. Do not see any. Or any of the Wave 2. I'm really surprised not to see. I think a, a lot of stores are getting those. So I'm going to try to look through some stuff to see if I can spot anything. I've been holding off on this. I don't think it's, since it's Walmart, I don't think it's going to go on discount. So I might grab one of those. But a quick tip before you guys buy any Carnotaurus. Always check the horns because they always get scraped up when you, people buy them. Um, or mess with them. But yeah, I'm not seeing... Anything that I'm looking for right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, thank you guys. Um, okay, now we're heading watch. into Best Buy. Um, there's only one in my city, so I'm not going to put a certain location on this one. If I do one out of town, I'll just say that. But watch what you do. this one, um, I'm hoping to find maybe a Sound Surge figure, maybe the Giga. Hopefully that's still here. Or maybe something on sale, because I have a $5 discount right now. Or um, maybe some of the Wave 2, just like I was looking for at Walmart. Not captives, but the Mattel figures. Um, there's lots of things you can find here. Maybe a Hammond Packy, because I want one more of those keep sealed, actually. I have a few on display, but yeah. Let's see what we can find. Here we are, guys. Um, what do they have? Okay. Oh, I'm seeing a Sound Surge T-Rex, which this was not here last time. That's nice to see. It looks like they went back to the old color, which I do prefer. Um, the teeth are painted. The inside teeth won't be painted. So they did sell the Giga, but they got another one, which is very interesting. Hammond collection, as usual, just Ray Arnold. Um, all the other figures, about the same. Now this is interesting to see because I know this is usually $50 on sale for $25, which that would be cool for a repaint, but I'm not quite sure on that. But we have Hammond T-Rexes stocked, and then a lot of the Fresh and Devour T-Rex. We got um, the Hammond Collection of Concavenator is actually on sale, probably because they're trying to copy Target and Amazon, but yeah, that's nice to see. Um, I don't think there's much else, but that's really cool to see. Um, Sound Surge T-Rex, I might grab this. Um, I actually do prefer this over the Giga anyway. Um, the colors, I think, are actually supposed to be really reminiscent of the 2021 T-Rex, that's probably why this one's on sale, because they're bringing the new stuff in. But yeah, this should be in scale with the Indomus, which would look really cool on display. So yeah, um, that's the aisle. Pretty cool. See you guys in the this next part. Really, this might be the last Target location, or any location, in my videos. Um, we're actually at Target location 4 right now. It should be up on the screen. This Target location... Um, the reason it's four is because I'm going to go to this one the least. It's kind of in that order. Where, where one and two, I'll probably visit more often. But location free is at that mall for me. And this location is really far. It's like probably 20, 25 minute drive away from my house. Which doesn't sound very far, but really it is. Ooh, they have it on clearance. Is the Sorna Escape. I may grab this. I'm pricing it to see if it... Um, how much on sale it is. I'm looking for the Red Rex. I don't think it's here because it doesn't say it is online. 
but there is a lot of stuff on sale but this in particular is on clearance like for some reason oh this one's on clearance too why would they put this on clearance so soon i don't know why this right here doesn't have any actual clearance on it but since i don't see anything on the actual aisle i will be checking the price scan like this is like the one target location that the price scanner is not by the jurassic aisle here we are now if this is this if this is like five bucks i'll buy it <laughs> i know i sound crazy but oh this is not good um okay it looks like we're looking for another price scanner i don't hope really hope there's one this way it's not looking like it though i feel like i'll be better off going to another section for this this, this might be a lot of video i might have to forward to this has to be one over here. They're always at the target. Let's see. Here we are. Oh! It's not even on clearance. Okay. Well, that was a big waste of time. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anything here, but I'll take a look around the aisle Hello and I'll everyone. go to you guys. You guys just watched a bunch of hunts. This is basically just going to be the end of the video. Um, not in those particular videos you were just watching. I actually just did a hunt too. Stay tuned for... The next hunts, I think I'll do these maybe every one or two weeks, just completely random, um, no exact dates. Um, I did find a lot of stuff on my hunts recently. I'm very happy with what I found. Um, I'm actually impressed because usually I don't find this many good things within like a month. Cause I think that's how long all the hunts together are. Um, it's actually pretty late at night right now. I'm going to get in and out burger. That's why it's, I sound tired, but yeah. Um, Right now, I actually just found this at Target, which I was very happy about. Um, pretty cool design. A lot of people won't like these um, Funko Pops on the side, but it still looks fine. It looks really nice, the quality. And yeah, at, fun fact, at Generation Jurassic, I had I, the day before, because I wanted a really small backpack at Universe Studios, because I actually went the whole day. Um, I wanted something to be able to carry just a little bit of stuff around with me all day. And I had the Dilophosaurus, one backpack it, um i'm not sure it was a funko pop one and actually the same target i purchased this at i bought that and i lost it at generation jurassic i realized like f a week after i'd been home that i don't know how it took me that long maybe because there was so much stuff we unloaded from the car um that <laughs> i didn't have it and it was probably like it was a long a very very long drive there so i didn't want to go back and i doubt it was in lost and founds guarantee the collector <laughs> probably snatched it up there it was just sitting at a table unattended but yeah um they definitely kept the quality of this backpack pretty nice um you guys just watched all those hunts i think right now other things that are like hitting stores which you might see in the next hunts is i think the red rex is supposed to hit my stores on the 28th of may just so you guys know the last hunt that you guys saw I think may have been on May 10th or 11th. This hunt right now, well not really hunt, this just talk, is May 15th. So maybe in two weeks, I don't know, I'll have some more hunts up, but I don't think that until the 28th will be the when the Red Rex hits. Um, no new captive's eggs for a while, just that big one. Um, I don't know really what else is. Wave two of the Mattel Wild Packs, or I don't know what they're called these days. I know they're not attack packs anymore. Those are hitting stores sooner or later. Um, I did manage to order the new Hammond collection figures, um, not the small ones like Hammond, actually, and the Stego and Tyrannosaurus and Nedry. I didn't get those ones, because if you actually click like the link on Collect Jurassic, or if you have the link, because I have it in my notes right now, um, they actually took that off Walmart's, or not Walmart, <laughs> Amazon's website, so it, like, it has a thing where like you're lost on Amazon, sure it's one of the Amazon dogs. I'm sure you guys have ran into that before. But yeah, I did manage to get the $21.99 assortment. I got the Metricanthosaurus, the Irritator, and the Crephosaurus. If you guys would like me to like throw in with my hunts a little, maybe like halfway review of those, if, um, leave a comment below just saying that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the hunts. If you guys want to see more, um, just like the video and leave a comment saying if there's any particular places you'd like me to go um and i have an instagram it's jurassic tree official and so yeah um if you guys want to do any of those things do it and thank you for watching my video see you later